hey there guys welcome back to ants india youtube channel and today in this tutorial build i will show you how you can create your own ant farm at home from scratch it's gonna be very simple and we will use common household tools also i will try to keep this video as to the point as possible so without any further ado let's get started So to create an AAC for me Kerem, first of all we will obviously require an AAC block which stand for Autoclave Aerated Concrete hence AAC for short. It's also known as Vitong, Hebel and Air Kit and it's widely used throughout construction industry and can be found easily in most of the hardware stores. Plus it's super cheap like I got this big slab for only 60 rupees which is less than a dollar. It's a very reasonable price considering how many potential nest can be made from that. It also has some other properties which I will explain in a bit. Other than that we will require a measuring tool and pencil for drawing and outlining our nest. Also we will need something to cut our material. A hexa would be perfect which I don't have. Then we would require a hammer and chisel for carving tunnels and chambers. But if you don't have a chisel a flat screwdriver will do the job just fine. Next we will require a drill for making nest entrance and attaching screws and we will obviously require something to observe our ends. I am using an acrylic glass which I bought from Amazon. I will put the link down in the description and if you don't have this you can also use DVD cases. They will do the job just fine. And after all of that we have to polish and smooth our nest. For that we will require sandpapers and lastly a kitchen sponge for hydration chamber and retaining humidity and that's all just common household tools. Ok, now we will have to cut out our required portion of material from the slab. We will put the glass at the center and with the help of pencil we will outline the nest. Also I am leaving a 15mm margin on all sides. You will know that why later on. So now by doing this we get the basic idea and framework how our nest is going to look like. Now it comes the easy part. We will bring the saw like thing into the game and actually start cutting the required material for our nest. One hour later. Two hours later. One eternity later. And at last, we are finally done guys. On a more serious note though, this material does produce a lot of fine dust like powder, which can really turn your workplace into a mess. So do take proper precautions for that. And always remember to wear mask and safety goggles, or you might get occupational respiratory disorder. Ok, so before we start carving tunnels and chambers, the actual living area for our ants, what I am doing is that I am creating a space for attaching the glass and this step is optional. So if you want, you can completely skip it and directly proceed with the next step. So if we want to create another level, it's actually very simple, just use good old hammer and chisel and just try to follow what I am doing. And I am again telling you that if you don't have a chisel, just use flat screwdriver, it's fine. As you can see that this material is quite soft and brittle. So it's actually quite easy to work with it. And we are done. Now I will just dust it a bit to make it a little clearer to see. I don't know that if you can see it or not but the surface is actually quite rough and it's actually very important to make it smooth otherwise the unevenness can create spaces for ants to escape. So we will use sandpaper to make it even. Ok, 
okay looks smooth enough now you can clearly see the difference between then and now and here comes the fun part now we will finally start carving tunnels and chambers but before we do that it's always better to plan and draw out the designs first so we knew that what we are actually supposed to be doing all right let's be creative guys while we are designing don't forget to leave space for addition chamber and nest entrance for this particular build i am making two addition chamber and two nest entrance also make sure to don't leave too much open space as ants prefer in habiting small confined and tight spaces where they feel safe and secure if you give your ants too much open space or move a young colony into a formicarium too early they will start dumping their waste into the nest instead of the outworld and the stable humid conditions within the nest will lead to the harmful fungus to thrive which can ultimately cause your colony to die i once made the similar mistake many of my old viewers may recall that i once moved my old camponotus compressus colony into a nest which was kind of questionable and it was just too open for the ants so they began dumping their garbage in one corner instead of the outworld and the mites and harmful fungi thrived which ultimately led to their demise and they never recovered so always plan out the nest well let's get back on the topic okay the design look good enough it's time to start carving the hammer and chisel again came into play just make sure that before carving try to leave at least 10 mm margin on the insides it warranties us that we will have enough material to work with now just try to follow what i am doing Here you can see that I am making space for addition chamber and for the placement of sponge. Just make sure that the ants have no access to it. Now we will do the same on the other side. I am switching to a drill to speed up this process. But if you want, you can continue using hammer and chisel. I will put the link of the tools I am using down in the description. It looks good enough, right guys? I'm sure the ants will have a blast in this nest. Also, when you're making a nest, be mindful about the depth of it. You can 
also play with the elevation like i have it gives some gradient and choice to the ends so guys just before we move on you can see that the edges are rough sharp and jagged so with the help of sand paper we will make them a little round soft and smooth It really pleases me up that just a little bit of extra work you put can have a great result on your overall outcome. I guess it's about time that we start making the nest entrance. It's without the doubt one of the most crucial steps. Start making the hole at the center of the side you choose. There should be enough material at both upper and lower sides to prevent the risk of the walls collapsing as this material is porous and brittle so you have to be careful while working with it as it's prone to be fracturing and cracking so work your way nice and slow or it can be disastrous again if you don't have a drill no worries just use a screwdriver Here I am using a sandpaper to make it round and increase the diameter of the hole. There are various methods of attaching a glass. I am using screws for this purpose. But if you want, you can also use glue gun and silicates, or you can use Bostex Blue Tech. It's a reusable, non-toxic, adhesive type of clay, and for this purpose, it works very well. Now, we will just drill the holes for the screws. Okay, let's take out a fresh new glass. Just make sure to clean your glass thoroughly. If you want to check, place your glass against a white background. It should reveal any impurities that your glass may have. I have made out the holes on the glass same way as I have made them on the block. Now we will just fasten them. And we are done guys. We have successfully created a ant nest at home from scratch. But we still have to create micro holes on glass for syringe so that we can hydrate them. But we will do it later. So basically we have a nest. Now we will get into the artistic part. I am using non toxic acrylic paint for the nest. But if you prefer you can choose not to as some people like their nest as it is but painting the nest does help in retaining humidity within the nest so you don't have to worry about hydration that often so if you do choose to paint be generous and apply a coat or two voila look how pretty it turned out now as a finishing touch i am applying some of the blue tech around the edges it's not necessary so don't worry yourself about it it's just something i like let's talk about hydration mechanics a bit so when you hydrate your nest what this material does is that it soaks the water into it then 
gravity pulls the water to the base of the material and the water by condensation comes out so ants have a constant supply of fresh water available to them i know that some of you may be wondering how did i make these micro holes so it's very simple actually what you have to do is that you have to take a pin then you have to heat it until it glows red hot then you just punch it down and that's it okay guys that's how we make ant nest and if you don't want to build your own you can always buy from me i'm currently setting up a shop on etsy i will put the link down in the description also i'm planning to move my carpenter ants into the smaller formicarium when they reach about 20 workers now i will take this moment to give an update on the ant room my camponotus compressus colony which i caught around 7 to 8 weeks ago are doing great and have five workers but there is a sad news though one of the three queen ants died due to some reasons but i think it's completely normal as in nature not all queen ants make it through the founding process besides camponotus ants i have also got two colonies of fidol ants these colonies are nearly same and both of the colonies have two queens so i am planning to conducting an experiment on them so stay tuned for that and guys at last i have been able to capture a colony of black crazy ants capturing a queen of this species is not easy as unlike regular ants they have internal nuptial flights i guess it's time to change their test too as it's starting to get moldy also i have forget to ask you but my camponotus compressus colony needs a name so if you have any ideas do share it with me down in the comments now to sum up this entire video first get an aac block from a local hardware store second cut out your required part from the slab third carve the tunnels and chambers fourth make a nest entrance and give it a nice polish fifth attach the glass sixth paint it as you like and we have a nest it's that simple and do i really have to explain all of that and also don't forget about the hydration mechanics of the nest you may have noticed i have two hydration chambers and the reason for that is it's an extra precaution against fungi now how it will work is that i will hydrate one side one time and then i will hydrate the other next time then i will just follow the suit what this will do is that it will create condition unstable enough for the fungus growth also it will give a moisture gradient for our ants so it's like killing two birds with one stone all right guys thanks very much for watching this video and if this tutorial had helped you do share your creations or even if it's just a sketch at my instagram account and don't forget to tag me so that i can find you again thanks for watching this video and i will see you again later it's ants india signing out